Now make sure everyone you've got a drink to uh, to make sure you stay hydrated. It's very very important to stay hydrated. I say that every time because it's true, and I think we should begin, everyone. So we're going to, uh, in order to start, for those of you who are joining us for the first time today, you have to do something for me, okay? Everyone needs to wave their fingers at the screen, okay? Wait, we're up where I am now, and we're all going to go just like that, okay? Not yet, because I need to press a button. And then that, what that will do is that will start the show. Are we ready, everyone? So wave your fingers. Here we go. <laughs> Brilliant. It only works if everyone does it. And that means everyone's doing it. Well done, everyone. And welcome to Home Choir. It's Fun Friday. And what a week we've had. Um, some fantastic songs from the sea on Monday. Um, that lovely bit of Thomas Arn, which is the properest day to sing, of course, we all know the properest day to sing is every day. And today being Fun Friday, well, as always, we've got a lovely menu of fun pieces for you to enjoy. I think of this as the light program of the week. And so we'll start in a minute after a couple of notices and happy birthday. Uh, we'll start with Daisy Bell, a really, really good tune to start our program today. And then pack up your troubles going into It's a Long Way to Tipperary. Those two great songs that will get your toes tapping, get your shoulders going. Uh, then we'll sing Don't Dilly Dally on the Way, one of my favourite musical numbers of all time. Um, very much the story of um, moving day gone wrong and what happens if you pop into the pub instead of going straight home. Uh, then we'll learn our new song today, which is from our brand new Mobile Madness series. I started off, I think, slightly pretentiously calling it Mobile Masterpieces. As time has gone by, I'm fully prepared to put my hands up and say it is just sheer madness, but it's great fun. So the new song today is based on a Samsung Galaxy ringtone um, called Homecoming, which I'll be playing you in a minute. And then we'll finish today with the song we learned last week, which is called Uplifted. And uh, we'll send you off for your weekend with a big smile on your face. So that's the programme for today, everyone. Before we get to that, let me just remind you of what we've got coming up on Sunday, which is a sacred sing uh, with music by Mendelssohn, Mendelssohn, Schubert and more. And next week, looking ahead, um, we're going to be doing something a bit different on Monday. We're going to be singing a song called Rockin' Robin. Yeah, that one. Twiddly diddly dee. Twiddly diddly dee. Twiddly diddly dee. Great song from the 50s. And uh, it's out of copyright. The copyright was never renewed. And so it is a proper rock and roll classic in the public domain. So we shall be singing it. And I've got a special treat in a minute. I'm going to show you the rock and robin that Katie has designed for me, uh, which will be featuring loud and proud on Monday. On Wednesday, we're going to learn a madrigal by Monteverdi. Beautiful little piece. And then on Friday, Funiculi Funicula, a great, great song uh, from Italy, which was written to commemorate the funicular railway going in on Vesuvius. So there you are. And we'll have a Renaissance sacred thing. There's so much coming up in the coming weeks. I'm so excited. I'll be sharing that with you as we go. Now look, here's as I promised, there's the Rockin' Robin. Okay, I said to Casey, I just said to her, design me a Rockin' Robin. And I think you'll agree that's a Robin and he rocks. So lots to look forward to on Monday. And don't forget, everyone, do sign up for our email newsletter if you haven't done so. There's no cost for uh, to, to you to sign up for it. Of course, there's no cost for Home Choir, though. We're all, all massively grateful to everyone who supports us. And so there we are. That's, uh, that's the notices. Let's get warmed up. And do, do please, if you can, stand up for me. Be upstanding. That's marvellous. And just plant your feet as shoulders width apart. That's fantastic. Take a deep breath and sigh. <sighs> Fabulous. Rolling your shoulders around a little bit. Whilst we're doing this, I'm just going to say again a very, very warm welcome this afternoon to anyone who's joining us for the first time. Let's roll our shoulders back the other way and to say a very special hello to Charlotte and her mum, Nikki, who are joining us today. And just to say, yes, Charlotte, it's live. It's happening right now. Shoulders up to your ears, please. Take a deep breath, and as you breathe out, let your shoulders fall and completely relax. Here we go. <sighs> Wonderful. It's that last little 10% of stress. You've just got to allow yourself to let it go. So let's do that again. Let's take our nice deep breath in. Bring those shoulders all the way up and give yourself permission to completely relax. Ready? Breathe out. <sighs> and that last little bit. It's like that last centimetre of water in the bath. Just let it drain away. Well done. Just roll your head around a little bit and loosen these muscles up. Fantastic. So we'll start here. We'll do a few humming patterns and then we will uh, 
we'll do a few... Well, no, we've got to sing happy birthday, of course. <laughs> I'm quite good at forgetting birthdays. So let's sing together. So we're going to go... Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Up a semitone. Mm -hmm. And again. Mm -hmm. Now, ooh. orange oh, and again oh, and an ah, oh, one more oh. splendid well done everyone those of you who are following um the the last couple of weeks will know i'm still suffering slightly from a cold and it's had a bit of a resurgence this week. So my upper notes aren't great, but the lower notes definitely sounding quite bassy. So I'm going to sing happy birthday today because uh, it's Andrea's birthday today. Happy birthday, Andrea. And do please join in and sing with me as we wish her a very special day. After two, everyone. One, two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Many happy returns of the day, Andrea, and I do hope you have a fantastic birthday. So, uh, there we are, everyone. We need to get started. We've got lots of lovely songs to sing, and let's bring the words back on screen. Our first song today, well, it is an absolute classic, and um, one of the early songs we learnt back when we were quarantine choir in the spring of 2020. This is Daisy Daisy, otherwise known as Daisy Bell. Here we go. There is a flower within my heart, Daisy Daisy, planted one day by a glancing dart, planted by Daisy Bell. Whether she loves me or loves me not, sometimes it's hard to tell. Yet I am longing to share the lot of beautiful Daisy Bell. Everyone, Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage I can't afford a carriage But you'll look sweet upon the seat Of a bicycle made for two And we will go tandem as man and wife Daisy, Daisy Pedaling away down the road of life I and my Daisy Bell When the road's dark we can both despise Policemen and lamps as well There are bright lights in the dazzling eyes Of beautiful Daisy Bell Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to stylish marriage I can't afford a carriage but you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle made for two I will stand by you in weal or woe Daisy Daisy you'll be the bell which I'll ring you know Sweet little Daisy Bell You'll take the lead in each trip we take Then if I don't do well I will permit you to use the brake My beautiful Daisy Bell Everyone, Daisy, Daisy Give me your answer to stylish marriage I can't afford a carriage but you'll 
look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle made for two. Well sung, everyone. Thank you very much indeed for singing that with me. Let's give ourselves and our fellow choristers all around the world a very big round of applause. And it is, of course, lovely to be joined by so many of you. Hello to everyone who's here live. Hello to everyone who I know is watching us later on on Catch Up. And those of you who are here but not in the chat, I usually say hello to you right at the start. And I neglected to do that today, so I'm going to say hello to Sue and Tony, to Sally and Annie, to uh, Maureen, to Linda, to Katie, and of course, Helen and Bill in California, who watch every single time. Wonderful to have you all with us, and uh, great to be enjoying Fun Friday with you. So folks, everyone have a sip of drink, stay hydrated, because we're going to sing another really cheery marching song. This one is called It's a Long Way to Tipperary, and it goes into... Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. The two songs pretty much share uh, a chord sequence. There is one glaring difference in the middle. And every time I work with the choir, it says, well, why don't you just put the two together? Um, I'm afraid the music nerd hat comes out. Because that chord doesn't fit with that chord. We just sing one into the other. So everyone, I think I'll have a bit of an acoustic for this one. Let's sing. It's a long way to Tipperary. Here we go. It's a long way. To Tipperary, it's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary, to the sweetest girl I know. Goodbye, Piccadilly, farewell, Esther Square. It's a long, long way to Tipperary, but my heart's right there and again. It's a long way to Tipperary, it's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary, to the sweetest girl I know. Goodbye, Piccadilly, farewell, Esther Square. It's a long, long way to Tipperary, but my heart's right there. Up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. While you a Lucifer to light your bag, smile, boys, that's the style. What's the use of worrying? It never was worthwhile. So pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile one more time. Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. While you've a Lucifer to light your fag, smile, boys, that's the style. What's the use of worrying? It never was worthwhile. So pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, 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 and smile, smile. Very nice. In fact, it's been a while. Have some home choir applause. This is you. Great. Fabulous. Fabulous. Encore, encore, they cry. Well, well sung, you. And I don't know about you, I'm feeling distinctly uplifted. Not quite as uplifted as I will be at the end of the show when we sing the song called Uplifted. But, you know, a good marching song does wonders for the spirit. Now, this is another kind of umcha, umcha, umcha marching song. This is, for me, uh, if you say music hall, I hear this song straight away. I've spoken many times about how, I, as I was growing up there in, let's call it East London, <laughs> Essex, uh, sitting on the floor of my junior school, listening to my wonderful, wonderful uh, singing teacher, choir mistress, Mrs D'Souza, playing and singing this song, and I'm just transported back to sitting there. I, I remember being fascinated by the parquet floor and getting into trouble for picking at it. And uh, all these memories come back when I sing this song. I don't know what this song means to you, but I do get lots of messages by people from people who say they love this one. So here is the, the story of moving day gone wrong 
I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to have to adopt a little bit more of a native accent as I sing this. This is more as I speak when I go home and I visit my friends and my relatives down there in, let's call it East London. Here is Don't Dilly Dally on the Way, ladies and gentlemen. Oh dear, here we go. Not yet. In a minute. Here we go. We had to move away because the rent we couldn't pay. The moving van came round just after dark. There was me and me old man shoving things inside the van, which we'd often done before, let me remark. We packed all that could be packed in the van, and that's a fact. And we got inside all we could get inside. Then we packed all we could pack on the tailboard at the back till there wasn't any room for me to ride oh my old man said follow the van and don't dilly dally on the way off went the cart with the own packed in it i walked behind with me old cop in it but i dillied and dallied dallied and dillied lost the van and don't know where to roam i stopped on the way to have the old half cotton and i can't find my way home and the old linnet don't know where to go either oh dear this is what happened i gave an helping hand with the marble wash and stand and straight we wasn't getting on so bad all at once the carman bloke had an accident and broke Well, the nicest bit of china that I had You'll understand, of course, I was cross about the loss Same as any other human woman would But I soon got over that, what with two out and a chat Cos it's little things like that, what does you good? Said, follow the van and don't dilly dally on the way. Off went the cart with the own packed in it. I walked behind with me old cockle in it, but I dillied and dallied, dallied and dillied. Lost the van and don't know where to roam. Now, who's gonna put up the old iron bedstead if I can't find my way home? Now you see, it gets worse. Oh, I'm in such a mess, I don't know the new address, don't even know the blessed neighbourhood. And I feel as if I might have to stay out all the night, and that ain't gonna do me any good. No, it ain't. I don't make no complaints, but I'm coming over faint. What I need now is a good substantial feed. And I sort of kind of feel, if I don't soon have a meal, I shall have to rob the linnet of his seed. He's looking tasty, I have to say. Oh, my old man said follow the van and don't dilly-dally on the way. Off went the cart with the own packed in it. I walked behind with me old cart in it, but I dillied and dallied. I dallied, I dillied. I lost the van and don't know where to roam. You can't trust the specials like the old time coppers when you can't find your way home. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourselves another big round of home fire applause. <laughs> and I don't mean it. I'd never eat the linnet. Well, <laughs> I don't know. He's looking quite tasty. So how's everyone doing? Interestingly, my chat has totally stopped. Let's just have a look. If I click restore chat, what do we get? Unable to restore chat. Well, I'm going to presume you're all out there. I hope you're all still able to chat. It hasn't worked for a few minutes, so I'm just going to carry on. And uh, we're going to have a look today, ladies and gentlemen, at our brand new song. This one is called The Ballad of Lady Marjorie and Sir Marmaduke. I am just going to have a look 
at the broadcast and just check that the comments are working. Because it's always a little alarming, just a little bit, when things aren't working. Let's have a look. Blah, 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 blah. We're all still here. Good. That's all fine then. So, yes, now this new song, it's based on a ringtone, uh, as all of our songs on Fun Friday have been the last few weeks, uh, called Homecoming. And the home and Homecoming sounds like this. And that's a really lovely, really lovely little ringtone. Interestingly, for those of you of the music theory persuasion, most of the ringtones that we've been doing so far have come from iOS, that is to say Apple devices. They've all been in C major. If you think about... Or... All been in C. This one is in D which is rather nice. It's, it's a bit brighter and a bit chirpier. And when I heard this... It just called to mind a lot of the lovely Baroque music that we've been enjoying. And so I just started to think it needs to have harpsichord, maybe be something in that sort of Baroque mode. And the more I played with the idea, the more it turned into a ballad. And it started out as just a very, very silly ballad. Um, and you'll see as we go through, uh, the story ended at a particular point, but I added on a little ending to turn it into something a little bit more romantic. Now, the story, the uh, picture here is a picture that actually hangs in the Bristol Museum and Art Gallery um, by Frank Dixie, and it's called La Belle Dame Sans Merci. OK, as Willie Rushton once memorably said, the beautiful lady who doesn't say thank you. Now... Uh, this is how the song goes. We're going to sing it together, and then we're going to have it with the accompaniment track. So, you get a little introduction. You get that twice. One day after tea, Lady Marjorie took a walk into the wood beneath a sky of blue. She bumped into look bold Sir Marmaduke sitting on a mossy moot and fiddling with his shoe. Now I appreciate that goes a bit low. So those of you who are of the tenor and soprano persuasion, fiddling with his shoe, just to round that off. Let's sing those first two little verses. Ready? Three, four. One day after tea, Lady Marjorie took a walk into the wood beneath the sky of blue. She bumped into look, bold Sir Marmaduke, sitting on a mossy moot and fiddling with his shoe. Wonderful. Now there's a little refrain that goes. She glanced his way. He heard her say. So it's just a straightforward little arpeggio, but it's all off the beat. She glanced his way. Sing with me. She glanced his way. And then the next line. He heard her say. And then it proceeds. What's the matter, sir? Most peculiar looking your appearing sitting on that mossy moot. Sorry, ladyship, but I've got a bit of stone appointed shingle at the bottom of my boot. He tried to smile, but he's in a lot of pain, poor thing. She was begun. Okay, let's have a look at the next slide. I'm not going to show you the whole song because obviously it's all verse chorus. I don't want to spoil the ending. But she sings, Can I help at all? Marjorie recalled several times she'd helped a friend or cousin with a stone. That would be most kind. Mama Duke pint, lifting up his foot and carefully reclining prone. He had succumbed. Her time had. And then, well, as I say, it is a bit of a love song, so I shall leave the next two slides for us to discover as we sing all the way through. And do enjoy this. As I said, this one is dedicated to everyone out there who has uh, a dear friend in their lives, and they have a very quirky relationship. This is a very quirky song, and it's it's dedicated to 
life partners to friends to anyone who has a, a relationship with and it can be a pet as well uh that's particularly quirky you'll see what i mean as we go ladies and gentlemen do enjoy the ballad of lady marjorie and sir marmaduke and there was lots of cantalate in this one here we go <laughs> After tea, Lady Marjorie took a walk into the wood beneath the sky of blue. She bumped into look, old Sir Marmaduke, sitting on a mossy moot and fiddling with his shoe. She glanced his way. He heard her say, What's the matter, sir? Most peculiar looking your appearing sitting on that mossy moot. Sorry, ladyship, but I've got a bit of stone or pointed shingle at the bottom of my boot. He tried to smile. She was beguiled. Can help at all. Marjorie recalled several times she'd helped her friend or cousin with a stone. That would be most kind. Mama Duke opined, lifting up his foot and carefully reclining prone. He had succumbed. Her time had come. Lady Marjorie, skilled at larceny, grabbed his boot and ran away and left the night confused. Poor Sir Marmaduke, lonely and rebuked, hobbled home bootless alone and not a bit amused. His heart she knew. After a mile in his shoe, Lady Marjorie stopped and suddenly turned around and strode towards Sir Marmaduke's estate. He hopped out to meet Lady Marjorie. They met and kissed and fell in love together from that date. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. A little love song based on a ringtone about a lady who steals a knight's boot and then having walked a mile in his shoes, that's how you really get to know a person. Realise that he was a lovely chap and they went and got married. There you are. That is the ballad of Lady Marjorie and Sir Marmaduke. There will be more mobile madness, of course, uh, next week. In fact, there'll be more mobile madness right now because we're going to sing Uplifted, which was a song that we learned last week when I have to say I was not very well at all. I'm still quite amazed that I managed to get through that broadcast without having a huge coughing fit. Well, let's see how we get on with this one today. And I need my all-important prop, as we're going to be singing a happy tune. And so we need to have an ukulele. Not a ukulele. It's not the uke. It's the uk, because uh, the Hawaiian people pronounce this ukulele. And for those of you that don't know... Ukulele means jumping flea. There you go. So you've learned two things about the ukulele. The third, of course, being that banks will do anything to get your money. Here, everyone, is Uplifted. <laughs> Ready to start rocking out. Here we go. Ready? Deep breath. I chose this ringtone as my alarm. I thought it's cheery, so was the hum. But when at six it blares out its song, I think I chose wrong. But I don't want to get out of bed. Should have chosen a quiet one instead. Wish I picked an alarm like slow rise I can barely open my eyes I watch my favourite shows on the screens And every four or so minutes it seems There's an ad for a bank 
with the happy appeal of ukulele in Glaskenspiel. Bank with us, we're a happy bank. We make you smile. You can trust us, you can. Now give us all your money. We're a blip, so we give the bank all of our cash. All our walls will be gone in a flash. Financially stable's the aim. Cheery music's the name of the game. When you hear the harp or the oop, it's almost never a fluke. They're trying to cheer you up and sound cute. Cause somebody is after your mood. And he's driving me mad. Artificially glad. And it's making me proud. It's all getting me down. I believe dead. Well done, everyone. <laughs> I do hope you enjoy that. As I say, anyone who works or has worked in finance, you will back me up. This, I believe, is capitalism's greatest enemy. But that's uh, that's another time for another day. All right, everyone. It is time for us to finish. Very sadly, it's so wonderful having you all with me today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Now, do join me if you can on Sunday morning for the Sacred Sing for something completely different beautiful music by Mendelssohn by Fauré and more and then next week as I've already told you Rockin' Robin on Monday we're going to be doing a Monteverdi madrigal on Wednesday and then for Nicoli for Nicola for Nicoli for Nicola on Friday you couldn't ask for a more varied program and so that's, that's exactly what you're going to get I do hope you've enjoyed today I've not been able to keep up with the chat because it all crashed here um, but lots of people are saying Kit Kat is I think summed up the entire broadcast lol bonkers i mean that's that should be our new tagline um so thank you so much kit kat and thank you everyone for being here if it has been your first time today hope you had a good time dear charlotte thank you for coming along today and hello of course to your mum and to everyone else do consider giving us a thumbs up if you enjoy home choir do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so remember there's no cost to you just it really does cheer me up to see people subscribing do tell your friends about us we're actually going to be launching in the next couple of weeks a just a straightforward poster um, that we're going to be putting up in local churches, libraries and so on around Bristol and it will just point people to the website, it'll point people to the Home Choir channel so I believe it is pretty much a global poster, certainly those of you uh, who live in English speaking countries so as soon as we've launched that uh, we'll be asking if any of you would be able to print some out and put them up in your local area because of course we want to have a lovely big choir and continue to grow as a community but more on that next week have a great Friday everyone well done you've made it very nearly to the end of Friday and I'll see you on Sunday if not before all the very best everyone take care bye bye <laughs>